Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to another video. Today we're finally doing the cover reveal for my fifth book, The Marionettes. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I'm a freelance editor and an indie author, and my fifth book is coming out August 24th of this year, and we're finally doing the cover reveal today. I'm also going to tell you just a little bit more about the book. I had you guys send in some questions, so I'm going to answer those, and basically we're just going to chat about this new release. So yeah, the book is called The Marionettes. It's the first book in a series. I'll have all of the links down below in the description if you want to go check them out. You can add the book on Goodreads, and you can pre-order a signed paperback copy, but but otherwise you can't pre-order yet. I'm trying something new with this book kind of as an experiment where I'm doing a really short pre-order just for like a week or two before the book release to see if that makes any difference with ranking and sales and everything. If you're interested in the business side of self-publishing, all that kind of stuff, I have a whole tier for it on my Patreon page called Self-Publishing 101. But anyway, pre-order links aren't up just yet. If you want to be the first to know when they become available, you can subscribe to my newsletter over on my website or honestly follow me on any social media because I will probably be updating that everywhere once the links are live but anyway yeah subscribe to my newsletter or you can join our facebook group if you want to be the first to know updates about this book otherwise for now you can just add it on goodreads and let me show you the cover actually let me tell you what the book's about before i show the cover i know so many of you are probably skipping ahead just to see it stay with me stick with me or at least if you go ahead come back let's start with the blurb for the book in case you haven't heard it yet valerie darkmore's entire life has been building up to this moment her initiation into the marionettes, the prestigious League of Witches sworn to serve the vampires. As one of the last remaining blood witches, her spot is almost guaranteed. At least, so she'd thought. The academy is full of sabotage and secrets as the tasks begin, and Valerie quickly realizes she has more than her spot on the line. Her survival seems just as uncertain. The closer she gets to the final trial, the more she learns everything and everyone around her isn't quite what it seems. I am so excited for you guys to read this book. Basically, the books that got me into reading when I was younger were all of the paranormal books. You know, we had Twilight, Vampire Academy, The Mortal Instruments, Hush Hush, Fallen, all of these like vampire angels, all of the trashy paranormal YA books is what I loved when I first started getting into reading. So sort of my vision with this series was I wanted to write something that made me feel the way that those books had when I was reading them when I was like 16. I kind of think of this series as those old school paranormal YA books, but scaled up for adults. For people my age, I'm now 24, so I don't read a ton of YA anymore, but I wanted similar vibes just for the kind of content that I enjoy reading now. So the books are definitely more new adult, adult content. All of the characters are in their 20s and the content, there's a lot of language, there's a lot of violence, a lot of blood, a lot of gore, some sexual content. I don't want to mislead you and be like, this is super steamy. It gets a little bit steamier with each book throughout the series. There definitely is explicit content on the page, but if you are a reader who reads a lot of steamy books, you're going to come into this and be like, oh, this wasn't steamy at all. So if you've read my other book, The Anti-Relationship Year, which is the only ones of my books that has any kind of smut in it, um, it's more than The Anti-Relationship Year was, but still not like anything crazy. There are definitely a lot of trigger warnings for this book, so those will be on my website under the tab that says trigger warnings if you want to check that out. I can have a link down below. Like I said, this book, it's dark, gory, gruesome, gothic vibes, mysterious, a little sexy. So without further ado, let me show you the cover and then I'll get into the questions that you guys asked. I like I do a drum roll in every video, but I don't know how else to preface this. Here's the cover. I absolutely love it. I think it's so stunning and exciting and now there are construction workers doing something outside my window this is horrible timing my cover designer actually made all of the covers at the same time for me so i've seen them all obviously i'm only going to reveal the first one today but i'll just tell you seeing them all together it's really freaking cool and obviously i can't say very much about the cover i don't want to give anything away but it does allude to things that happen in the book and i love it so much so let's jump into your questions how many books are there in the series so right now we definitely have four planned. I have the first four covers. So there will definitely be at least four. Basically what I'm doing, first of all, we'll see how the first four books do, see if people even enjoy them. We have no like proof of concept so far. And so I basically kind of laid it out. So the first four books have this story arc that'll wrap up in book four, but the world is set up in such a way where like I could go on past that if I decided to. It's not like I would just stop writing and things would be unresolved. Like the main story arc will be resolved in the first four books. But if you kind of think of it as like TV seasons, that would be like a season. We would just start with a new storyline that would branch out from that. If I wanted to continue and make the series longer, I could. If I wanted to end it at book four, I could. So we'll see how the first four books go. <laughs> when is the tentative release date? Oh, I've already announced the release date now. 
August 24th. Oh, someone asked if I could link the Pinterest board. So yeah, I have a Pinterest board that you can look at for the book. There's also a playlist that you can listen to on Spotify. So I'll have all of those links down below in the description as well. Do you plan to have hardcovers for the marionette since it's a fantasy? No, so I don't have any plans for there to be a hardcover of the book at this time. It's just gonna be an ebook and a paperback. I'm also not making audiobooks as of right now. Also something new with the book is this series is going to be available in Kindle Unlimited, which isn't something that I've tried before. My first poetry collection is available in Kindle Unlimited, but the rest of my books are wide. So um, we're gonna try out Kindle Unlimited. Again, this is kind of my like experimental series. I'm just trying some new stuff for fun and just to kind of see how it goes. So yeah, this book is gonna be in Kindle Unlimited. So that means it's only gonna be available on Amazon. That's just the rules of Kindle Unlimited, it has to be. I might do hardcovers in the future. Again, I really, have no proof of concept with these books. And um, I'm just trying to be smart with my business decisions and not pour a ton of money into books until they've proven themselves. So um, an audiobook might come in the future, hardcovers might come in the future, but as of right now, no. Hello, editing Katie popping in here because there's something that I wanna to talk to you about in regards to where you can get the book. I was just saying it's going to be in Kindle Unlimited, therefore the book can't be anywhere but Amazon, which is true after release. But I really care about making my books as accessible to everyone as possible and I really don't want people to feel like they need to turn to pirating. Please don't pirate my books. It's a really big deal, especially in Kindle Unlimited. You could get my account banned, so please don't do that. But if you're in a country or something where Amazon isn't available to you and you can't read the book that way, I don't want you to not be able to read the book. That just makes me sad if you're excited about it and then you can't access Amazon. That just seems really mean. So I have been researching and trying to come up with some kind of solution to this because I still want to put the book in Kindle Unlimited. So I talked to a few other authors and this is what they do and what they suggested for me. So it's going to be a very time sensitive matter. So if you are someone who cannot read on Amazon and you still want to read this book, please don't drop the ball. You got it squeeze in here with this time limit. So what I'm going to do is before the book is released, I'm thinking the week before, I'm going to put the book on my Patreon page. I'm going to make a whole separate tier just for this book and it's only going to be for that one month so you won't get like recurring charges or anything. It'll just be for that one payment and it's only going to be for that week period and basically I'm going to distribute it through there the way that I would with an ARC copy through Book Funnel. So um, the tier price of the Patreon will just be the price of the book and like I said, I'm going to Try and figure out how to not have it be a recurring monthly thing. I'm thinking just like once the book releases, I'm going to get rid of that tier so you won't be charged more than once. So if you go in for that one week before release, before I'm locked into that exclusivity thing with Amazon, get the book and run. That's my plan. <laughs> It'll only be an ebook, obviously, because that's all we can do. But I'm hoping, I think Patreon is available in many more countries than Amazon is. So I'm hoping that'll be a good solution if you're unable to get the book otherwise. If you are able to get the book on Amazon, I would understand the inclination to go get it from Patreon a week early and get to read it early. But I would also just kindly ask you not to do that. Um, if you get it from Amazon, it would just help me more. It would help with the ranking and everything. It would just help the book more. So um, if you can shop from Amazon, I would appreciate if you would wait until release date to get it from Amazon. If you're not able to and you still want to read the book, you will be able to get it from my Patreon page for exactly one week. So yeah, I'm not going to set up that tier until August. I'm going to set it up at the beginning of August. And then like I said, it's only going to be available for that week before August 24th. If you want to make sure that you don't miss the little time window, you can subscribe to my newsletter over on my website. I'm going to send out an email as soon as it's available and hopefully that helps. Hopefully that is a little more accessible to some people. Also, sorry to keep talking about piracy. It's been an issue lately, but also if you're getting the file from Patreon, just know if you're going to take that file and go put it on a pirate site, they're watermarked and I will know who you are. Please don't do that. Please don't pirate my books or anyone else's. Just don't steal from artists who are struggling and pouring their money into things they're passionate about and then steal that. It's just not a nice thing to do. That's all. Let's get back to the rest of the video. What age category is the marionettes in? I get asked questions like this, like what age is this book good for? I don't know. I don't have children. I don't know what's appropriate for people. My parents never had strict rules for me as a child, so I have no concept of like what's appropriate for what. So like I said before, just like knowing what you can deal with and whatnot, there's a lot of gore and violence on the page. There's a lot of language, mild sex scenes, darker themes. It's pretty brutal at times. And yeah, all the characters are in their 20s. So I would say maybe like 16 and up. 
the movie would be rated R, not PG-13, if that helps. Overall, I am so excited for this series. I hope you guys loved the first book. Something that I'm really nervous about with the first book, and I'm, I've been like toying with the idea of like, do I put something in the description to warn people? If you've been staying caught up on my channel for the last couple of months, you've heard me talk about this plenty, but this is definitely the first book in a series that leads straight into the second book. So if you hate cliffhangers, here's your warning. The first book has a cliffhanger, but it's not like the kind of cliffhanger where the story's not resolved, if that makes sense. Like the arc of book one is resolved. Cliffhanger kind of um, spurs the conflict for book two, if that makes a difference for you. I just... <laughs> It was never something I really thought about before, but then because I'd never like ended a book on a cliffhanger before But I love it and I don't want to change it. It's perfect for this book But then I see all of these books online of people leaving reviews of like Saying like this book would have been five stars But it had a cliffhanger and then they give it a one-star review like there's so many people who get so mad <laughs> So here's your warning if you don't like cliffhangers this book has a cliffhanger and I think it's fun. I love it. But there's your warning. I am currently writing book two. I'm hoping to have it out relatively quickly after book one as well. I'm trying not to make you wait too long, but I'm also trying not to rush book two. So yeah, I think that's all I have for this video. Check out the description if you want to see all of the links. I hope you guys are excited for this book. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. No.